OK, so we've got to break down this 720 into its prime factors. And the best way of doing that, I think, is to um, keep dividing through by 2 until you get to a number that you can uh, um, factorise using primes other than 2. So um, you can see 2 times by 360, 2 times by 180, 2 times by 90, 2 times by 45. So uh, 45 is what? 5 nines and of course 9 breaks up into 3 and 3. So we can say that 720 is exactly the same number as 2 to the power of 4 times by 3 squared times by 5. Now I would show that in an exam but there is a button for that on your calculator. If you press shift and fact, fact, okay, you can see uh, the prime factorization of 720 and it writes it in the format that we should be writing it in anyway. So it's a nice way of checking, but don't rely on that. You have to show you're working. OK, now for the second part, it's saying what can we multiply 720 by to create a square number? Well, that's quite tricky, but what we can do is we can break that 2 to the power of 4 into 2 squared times by 2 squared. We have a 3 squared, but we only have a 5. So it looks to me like we need to multiply this by 5. But I'm just going to show my logic for that. Okay, I'm going to break that 2 squared up into um, uh, 2 squared times by 2 squared. Okay, 3 squared and only 5. And of course, indices laws say that I could take a 2 to the outside. Yeah? So, There we have it. Now I'm just going to check on my calculator that, that does indeed make a square number. But it's looking quite promising. It looks to me like the answer is certainly going to be 5. Let's have a little look. And the square root of 3600 is indeed 60. So I think we've done it. Answer 5. So let's go to the examiner's report. And. Uh, yeah, you can see lots of students, they don't use the sort of uh, indices. I would, I really would. Okay, and it helps you with the second part of the question in any case. And let's look at the uh, mark scheme. And you can see there's an M mark, so there's two method marks and an accuracy mark. So, there we go.